Hello viewers, thanks for tuning in to this channel, Budget Nerd. If you're like me, you're really into networking. I like to stick with a good old-fashioned Ethernet cable anytime I can. And if you need more ports, you grab a switch. It's a simple and expensive way to add more ports to your network. So today, with that in mind, we'll be reviewing the Zycel 8-port Ethernet switch. This video is the last in an unofficial series of reviews on the products Zycel were kind enough to send to me for a review. This Gigabit Switch's model is GS-108B version 3. Uh, and a switch like this is a pretty simple network device. You hook it up, power it on, and forget about it, right? Well, let's first off uh, see what's inside the box. Opening it up, you can see some rubber feet for setting it on a desk or you could mount it on a wall if you want. Here's the switch. You get the typical activity lights in the front and uh, it's an eight port uh, switch, this particular one. So you get your eight ports on the back. It feels good, it's pretty solid. The case is made of metal, which is a plus. Uh, so this switch claims to have two high priority and two medium priority ports. Uh, we'll get, we'll touch on that a little more later. Last, we have the power adapter. So nothing super exciting in the box, but uh, plug the thing into power, connect one port to your existing network, connect your computer and any device to a free port, and let's start switching packets. Of the eight ports on this switch, two are labeled high priority ports and two are medium priority ports. What this means is you can specify which devices get priority on your network in the case of network saturation, depending on where you plug them in. If the switch becomes saturated, it will prioritize traffic through the buffer based on the priority of the port it's going to. So if you have a voice over IP uh, or VoIP phone or a network attached storage or an Xbox or PlayStation that you want to get first priority when the switch becomes saturated or busy, Plug them into the high priority ports. It's a neat feature for home or small office where there's a lot of traffic. And my home network usually won't see enough traffic to saturate the switch, so I really couldn't test it. But I did come up with a bunch of other fun tests to make sure it would do everything I would ask of it. Let's start with connection speed. My computers and devices all recognized it as a gigabit connection, so that's good. Uh, I did some file transfers. Boring, right? Well, they were speedy. I had no issues. I also set up a LAN party where my friend and my brother and I played some Warcraft 3. Yes, Warcraft 3. I set it so all the traffic would go through just the switch and it worked flawlessly. Yes, I know, not a hugely taxing game on networks. It's a little bit old. But honestly, I just wanted an excuse to have a LAN party and play some Warcraft. I then had it replace my existing switch for my main home network and used it this way for a week or two. I have a couple video game consoles, several PCs, several tablets, two kids with YouTube addictions, a smart TV upstairs, two cell phones, a Google Home, and a three-legged cat, and I had no issues with this switch at all. What can I say? It does what it says it'll do. No issues, no slowdowns, no problems whatsoever. Uh, on a side note, I did hear uh, about a number of people having issues streaming videos through this switch using DLNA. So I made sure to test that. It must have been worked out, because I tested this extensively, streaming videos from my home server to my Xbox One using DLNA, and I did not have a single issue. So, works well. But how does it stack up on price then? At the time of this video on Amazon, it's going for $24.99. There were a few switches that came in a few bucks cheaper and several that were more expensive, but this one sits comfortably in the middle, closer to the inexpensive range. Uh, very competitively priced, then, I would say. For someone who would benefit from the ability to prioritize some of their devices, this switch really stands out, and the metal case is a pretty nice feature too. Some of the cheaper ones had plastic cases. So, that's about all I could come up with to cover. Uh, I'd recommend it. If you're interested in picking one up, 
There's a link in the description. Thanks for watching.